Hey guys, welcome to BSL Season 14 Hasu League. This is going to be Group A. In the upper right -hand corner, we have a friend of the stream, Sony, aka Nooks, as the gray Zerg. Bottom left -hand corner, we have Juicy, starting as the black Protoss, returning to Hasu League once again. And I'm going to try to cast as much of the round of 32 as I've got, but I believe replays are optional for the round of 32. They're required for the round of 16. I know some players opt not to upload them, Regardless, I am extremely hyped for this season of BSL Hasu League because this it's just stacked. We've got a lot of friends of the stream. You got 80s Mullet. You got Sony out there. You just have you have this huge. If I talked, I would be just sitting forever gushing about how incredible the lineup is. And I know what you guys are thinking. You should do a color swap on this, but unfortunately, they didn't do top versus bottom, so we're just gonna have to go differentiating via the races rather than the colors because this. On the minimap, it's very close, as you can see. But, you know, one Zerg, one's not. And it looks like we did not talk too soon because I think this might have been a five or six pool. Regardless, this is going to be a very, very early pool opener. Not sure why I decided to get the tab in there. Pylon's on the front door. This is a two-player map. And so probes are going to have to come off the line. But if there's any delay in getting this forge down, getting this cannon down, that could be the match. So forge dropping on the front. Probe is making its way out. The zerglings are, are already being built. Sony looking for a quick win to sneak into the, the winner's bracket. I believe it's still best of one. That's the new format is going best of one regardless across the board. And then best of threes from there, by the way. So Sony wanting that winner's bracket and wants to get there in a sneaky way. Probe moving out. Sees the Zerglings. It is in position to go ahead and drop an initial cannon, but the two cannons are down. Probes are still going to come have to come off the line to help defend this. More Zerglings in production. Taking initial shots at this probe. The probe needs to just ignore that. That's not going to happen. A gateway plopping down. Now this is a very cloggable front door. The cannon's about halfway finished. The probes are here to defend, so it's going to come down to some micromanagement on both sides. Probes versus Zerglings in the gap. Some nice concavity. Two Zerglings already down, and Juicy looks like he's going to defend this. Cannon coming online. Additional Zerglings are here, and now Sony is taking a huge hit early economically. So yes, a couple probes were taken out, but there's only five drones left. And actually, what's fun to do is actually attack with this probe in the meantime, but now firm control of the match in Juicy's favor and can really do anything. And Sony is going to have his work cut out for him to go ahead and try to defend this. It looks like he's going to try to plop down a quick second hatchery. Yeah, he needs to put down an additional hatchery, try to pump as many drones as Juicy will let him get away with. Juicy, in the meantime, can do whatever he wants, really. He can go ahead and plop down that Nexus. It looks like he is opting to do that. Has double the count of units. This probe sneaking around the back. Still managing to get scouting information. It's going to see that second hatchery plopping down. And basically can play this. So basically you can try to play this as from here. It's almost like you're playing a PVZ. But you got like a minute head start on your opponent. Really nice reaction. On Juicy's part to go ahead and mitigate. And really, just the probe wall and getting the gateway to... I really love the gateway drop as well. Those very heads up. To reduce the surface area, the Zerglings can run by. Nexus now coming online. The probe can go ahead and ignore this. And also, the Zerglings haven't even been able to kill this probe scout. So the probe scout's going to be able to basically see everything inside the base. Sony going ahead and grabbing an extractor from here. Assimilator pylon online so basically you can look at it this yeah juicy just has an extremely accelerated build order comparatively moving from here and all juicy needs to do is yeah macro up a little bit has all the options in the world can play defensively it looks like it's going to be three hatch from here interior base which suggests potentially three hatch mutalisk but we'll see zergling speed might get upgraded so it's possible we'll see a Zergling, a second attempt at a Zergling Flood. Overlord taking a couple hits as it's backing off. But right now, yeah, everything in Juicy's favor. Going ahead and doing a great job of also checking exterior expansions. Just making sure that there wasn't anything snuck. Probes transferring. 
to the natural expansion to get that up and mining. Cybernetic score is already mining, but even here, usually you'll have Zerg with this, <clears throat> looks like a Hydra Den is plopping down to go for a three hatch Hydra build, but the Zerglings not doing their duty and the probe is gonna be even maybe be able to walk right into the main, taking a bit of damage. Probe, yeah, just marching right in, sees the Hydralist Den on top of everything else. So not only did Sony drop the five pool early, also has sacrificed a lot of scouting information here in the mid game, has the build order basically completely revealed, is behind economically, basically nothing going right. Level one weapons coming online. The Zergling's trying to chase down that probe now. No Zergling speed that I'm seeing as of yet. It looks like it's gonna be Hydralisk speed instead. So this is gonna be potentially a delayed attempt at a Hydralisk bus. Citadel of a Dune warping down the cybernetic score, or sorry, the Stargate really isn't needed and easily can be skipped because this is a Hydralisk uh, den build rather than a layer build. Hydralisk's already being produced in small numbers, potentially to deal with a Corsair that could have been incoming to defend the Overlords. But right now, yeah, Juicy, nearly double the supply, has a well-saturated main. Level 1 weapons is going to come online probably without a lot of trouble. Nook's also wandering in to the main to try to look like on the corner of that the Overlord to see if he can get scouting information. I think positionally was able to do so. Three gateways coming online behind this. Zealot leg speed as well. And I think what Juicy wants to follow this up with is just, yeah, a flood of Zealots, plus one weapons, plus one Zealot leg speed. And I don't know that Sony's going to have the economy to hold this back. Range now being upgraded. Some Hydralisks are filtering forward into position, but this is going to be a very small Hydralisk force versus, first of all, two cannons that are already in place, but also a significant amount of Zealots in not too long to go ahead and push them back. So it's going to be maybe a small window to potentially take out the forge and maybe reduce level one weapons. It looks like they're poking away at the gateway. The Zelts trying to keep them honest and actually sneaking back and forth. I might want to cancel this and just sack this forward gateway. So Juicy still locked the two bases, but honestly, the economy, as far as the roll around, is going to be really, really strong. And I would, honestly, it looks like Sony up pecking away at that gateway, maybe to get the surface area to go ahead and bust to the natural expansion, but really I would focus on that forge first to stop level one weapons just because of the deficit in the build order. But in the meantime, more Hydralisks are starting to flow out. Looks like there has been a decent drone saturation in the meantime. We got about nine drones there. We got about what looks like 10, 11 drones at the main to potentially continue to pump this. And Sony trying to sneak a fourth hatchery at that bottom right hand corner in the midst of this. Now re-engaging with those Hydralisks on the front. So trying to do sneaky, dangerous, overly aggressive things economically to try to make up for this. The Zealots now marching out. They have Zealot leg speed. Getting a good surround on these Hydralisks. A few of them dying along the way, but they're getting pinned in to that left-hand wall and getting wiped out. Now, 10, 10 Zealots on the march with plus one weapons. Looking to wreak havoc. Double sunken colonies gonna be dropped at the natural expansion. I don't know that it's going to be in time. The Hydal is trying to re-engage, but they're running into just the reinforcement line and mostly getting wiped out. They might get a Zealot here and there, but not getting a lot else. An Evolution Chamber being dropped to try to help with that Sim City. It looks like the Sun Colony is coming online immediately. The Zealots in this back field. I don't know if this is enough Zealots to punch through, but Sony realizes it's not going to make a difference either way because his economy shattered. He has nothing to stop the Zealot onslaught. He's down level on weapons, and his economy is just uh, too far behind. So call in GG there. He will move to the loser's bracket. We're going to see Juicy in the winner's bracket. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.